Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, here we go. We are at the semifinals of the 2019 Masters Artistic Pool Championship. We're coming at you live from Jamaica Joe's here in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Our first contestant entering into this semifinal match was a runner-up at the 2014 Artistic Partners Cup with Jason Lynch. He is a 2015 Rising Star Award winner. He is a 2017 Masters Special Arts Champion, and he is the President and Chairman of the WPA Artistic Pool Division. His sponsors are McDermott Cues, Bobble Ball, Bill Curran Optical, Brutal Game Gear, and Two Tall Custom Cues. From South Charleston, Ohio, it is Superman, Brian Pauley. And that's Brian at the table now. His opponent is a 2016 ESPN Trick Shot Magic Champion, 2016 UTS World Trick Shot Champion, a two-time and current WPA World Artistic Pool Champion, four-time ESPN World Cup of Trick Shots Champion, 10-time WPA World Discipline Champion, 2015 ESPN Trick Shot Magic Runner-Up, 2014 WPA World Artistic Pool Championship Runner-Up, he is president of the Romanian Pool Billiards Federation. He is a certified pool billiards coach and instructor. His sponsors are Romanian Olympic Committee and Two Tall Custom Cues. From Bucharest, Romania, it is Mr. Perfect, Gabby Vishoyu. I would also like to give a big shout out to our sponsors, Simonis Cloth and Aramith Billiard Balls. Thank you, Simonis Cloth, for donating uh, new cloth to this tournament, to this venue, so that they can recover these tables after these trick shot players are done tearing up the cloth. Thank you very much. And Aramith Billiard Balls, they also donated some sets of balls so these players get to play with not only the finest set of balls, but also they get to play with the same balls every tournament they go to. So consistency is key. So thank you to our sponsors. And thank you to Jamaica Joe's for being such a fantastic host. This is the fifth time, fifth year in a row they've been here. And Jamaica Joe's is just a great host. They they not only do this tournament, they do lots of tournaments throughout yes, they the year. Do. Just yeah. Apparently have a couple of different leagues here. They got a couple of different league boxes for dropping stuff off. They do two tournaments two nights a week. All right, looks like players are done warming up. We are ready to get this show on the road. And it looks like we're going to be starting out with Gabby. 4A. All right, so we are in the semifinal division. So this is kind of like a game of horse where one player will pick a shot and then the other player also has to shoot that same shot, whether the player who picked it made it or not. Yeah. I guess we're starting with uh, Fancy and uh, or what is it? All right, so this is going to be the Tricky Cluster. This is a nine-point shot. Gabby setting the tone, starting out with a tough one here. Yeah, he didn't jump right into the ten-pointers, so oh. he's, he's saving that for next round. <laughs> Maybe. A lot of strategy. You know, you want to pick something you're good at and you think maybe your opponent isn't. Mm -hmm. All right. All three balls will be going into the same pocket. Okay. We haven't, actually haven't seen this shot. No one shot this shot so far over the last two days. The one in the four are going to be going in the same hole right there. And all three, all are three going of them in the same in the pocket. Yeah, going to go. Uh, and failed to execute. I'm meaning to say straight in. So you shoot at the one. Cue ball cuts the one in, comes off, hits the two. The, the two, Billy, or, well, and Gabby wasn't using these balls. So the first ball on the rail is cut in. Cue ball comes off of that, hitting the center ball so that... Uh, 
that caroms that into the pocket and making the outside ball bank across uh, across corner into the same pocket. Ooh, that sounds complicated. Yeah, no. That's why it's worth nine points and not, you know, something less. Well, now it's worth eight. Now it's worth eight because <laughs> you missed this first mm -hmm. attempt. Yes, you get three attempts. And if you make yeah, it, it on your... almost there. That one was close to going. If you make it on your first attempt, you get the full value. Yep. Second attempt, minus one point. Third attempt, minus two points from its full value. Yeah. And uh, Gabby's going to adjust the ball just a little bit here. It says that uh, all three balls may be shifted along the cushion at the discretion of the player. Scratch is allowed. Yeah, you can move this up and down the cushion as he needs. Mm -hmm. He can uh, adjust the angle of the balls a little yeah, bit as little, needed. The little bit of the arc or whatever. There is not an absolute position that they have to be in. The only thing that's required, the balls must be frozen to each other and the one frozen to the rail and the cue ball must be in that little box. All right. All right. See if he's adjusted enough this time. His third and final attempt. Nope. That's not it. Nope. No points now for Gabby. Is, is he having to hit the, the cue ball into the rail and then, uh, is, is, so is he playing the one ball rail first too? I think so. Because it looks like it's hidden behind that set of balls where you're actually maybe having to play it rail first. Although the diagram shows it going straight at the one ball. So welcome everyone in our chat room. Wambra, One Pocket Kid, TS Billiards, Rob Peacock, Balint, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Jim, Jim Bernard, yep. Thank you guys for tuning in. Yes. I think the players appreciate you. They've been coming up and saying how awesome it is for this, you know, the stream and, you know, that their people are getting to watch them play. And so, you know, they know you all are out there watching and rooting for them. Now, hopefully Brian was paying attention to see what mistake Gabby was making, yeah. maybe he can make an adjustment. It actually looks like the, uh, now that I'm actually, I'm looking at the table, the, he is, they are shooting straight at the one. The cue ball's just coming off the rail. So he's got to hit this with some probably uh, center from that way, uh, right hand English to get the cue ball, to, or even a little low right. But lots of right to get it to come off. And Looks like these guys have started out with a with a pretty tough shot. Yeah. <laughs> so let's have a look at our bracket. So we are playing Gabby versus Brian. This is the first semifinal match immediately following. Well, not immediately following, but at uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock today, we're going to have Jamie versus Abram, the second semifinal match. And then that'll be the finals tonight at, was it 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock? I got to look that up, but it's going to be later today. Yep. This tournament will conclude today. And if you were having those glitches from our Wi-Fi connection yesterday, the matches will be put back up in their entirety without lagging in high def on our YouTube channel after we get back home. It looks like Brian has made an adjustment. He's not, he's not set these up exactly the same. Uh, Theo, welcome in. We got another trick shot guy in there in the house watching. Thanks for joining. <laughs> All right, another, another attempt by Brian Polly. Is this his third? Second. Third. I was too busy talking. I'm <laughs> All right, come on, Superman, you got this. Yeah, got it. Got to get in there and hit that one full. Oh. Oh. Hey, he made one. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> All right, so nobody gets points. No it looks points. Like. No points for anybody. Yeah, that's what I thought so. But now it'll be uh, Ryan's, Polly's turn to call shot. 
And um, that'll be from Discipline from two, 2, which will be Special Arts. 2B. 2B is going to be the precise timing shot. And, uh, we saw this one yesterday, didn't we? Or, or the first day? Or something very similar to this the first day? This does not look familiar to me, so it may, it may have been something similar. Yeah. It was a similar type of shot where you mm -hmm. were pushing a ball out that you were trying to pocket with the cue ball coming around table. And we will be... <laughs> yeah, we will be getting some of these guys to come sit in with us a little bit later. Dad, um, I heard that we may have uh, Tony in here a little bit uh, during this match, but uh, I haven't seen him. Is he here? Tony? Tony who? Mm, not the guy, one of the guys' name that played yesterday. Uh, we had a Troy. Troy. Troy, not Tony. Troy. Some All right, here team. we go. The precise timing shot. Worth seven points. This is pretty good. Oh, oh man, <laughs> timing just a little off. That was a great attempt. So close. So the bank, the bank <laughs> shot was no problem. Had that that part down. Yeah. Actually, does he have to make the bank, or does he only have to he's, make the third? The he's only one at he's the end? pocketing the one at the end. Isn't, yeah. Cue ball's got it. He's gonna shoot that ball out, and the cue ball comes around and pockets that ball. Okay. It's the only thing it shows happening. All right. So, oh, yeah. So the making making the bank shot was just a bonus. Here, so let's watch it from this angle since this is where all the action is going to be happening down at this corner. And this ball has oh, no. way... Uh, this says it has to be moving when the, when the cue ball hits it. It can't have stopped in front of the hole and the cue ball come and knock it in. They both have to be moving when it pockets the ball. That sounds... Uh, sounds like your, your timing has to be pretty precise. Yeah, no. <laughs> so a very aptly named shot. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was milliseconds from it hitting it that first yeah, shot. Yeah, that first one was so close. You know, when you're so close to making a, a shot, sometimes no adjustment at all is necessary. Just hit it the same way again and let just, like, natural variation. Maybe that's all you need. Yeah. That's what Abram was saying yesterday. When you're that close, don't try to make an adjustment. Just... Try it. Just hit it. Hit it this again. This is it. This is there. Oh, oh man! This a little ahead of it. Uh. <laughs> All right. Good effort. Now Gabby's gonna try to do the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he doesn't even have notes on this. He says <laughs> <laughs> he's changing his shaft for, for shooting the for shooting the shot too. These guys have uh, heard. Uh, Abram saying yesterday, what does he carry? What did he say? Four shafts for his jump cue in case one messes up. Uh, his mass, his mass AQ. His mass AQ in case, uh, like, it break a tip off or, you know, something happens or whatever. Yeah, Abram says he, he travels pretty light compared to most of these guys. He only has a 5 by 10 case. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, did you see Jamie's case? I think he needs a caddy for it. It's huge. It's one of yeah, those, like, the, it's like the cue maker's case, yeah, right? The, yeah, the dealer case, the cue maker's case. Yeah, the 12 by 24. Yeah. I've seen more than one of these guys carry the 12 by 24 mm -hmm. case. <laughs> the yeah, Abram can actually put his on his shoulder. <laughs> Doesn't have a dolly attached to it. All right. Same shot. Man, that could have been uh, too bad Brian didn't get points there. You know, hearing Gabby say, I don't even have notes on this shot. If he'd have got this, it could have been, you know, really good uh, first points, you know, take the lead maybe. Although they, they do call this guy Mr. Perfect, so I don't even know if he <laughs> needs to have notes on something to shoot it. 
I'm maybe, still or maybe they're just talking about his hair. That's what I was saying. I'm still getting ready to say. I'm still trying to figure out if that's his pool game or his hair. That oh, speed this looks is looking really good. good. It's in there. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. No, we're close. Don't sweat it, Gabby. Behave. <laughs> Behave, he says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is one of those situations, definitely one of those situations where you don't try to make an adjustment. Just hit it exactly the same again, at least the best you can. Yep, there he goes again, tapping the balls. But, yeah, that's what they got to do. It's why they give them brand-new cloth for the pool room. Here, let's, uh, let's change our vantage point. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, so, Rob, it looks like that hurricane is taking a little uh, turn to the right and might be okay down there. Yeah, you got to remember that speed, too. That, uh, that could be it. That could be it. Oh! oh. Is the double kiss Is, allowed? Um, I think it... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can all hear Gabby <laughs> celebrating. And it's nice that, you know... With yeah, the, this I'm pretty sure double kiss is allowed. Yeah. So, all right, the, nicely you know, done. The, the, you know, because there isn't all of the other playing going on in this, you know, the that they get to celebrate like that. You know, you don't get to see that in a regular pool tournament. <laughs> and, no. and everybody over here cheering him on and giving him a little bit, you know, a little hard time to, you know. Yeah, he didn't even have any notes on that. All right, we're going to be going to draw shots now. This is going to be uh, Gabby's choice. He's going with shot 4C from draw shots. Let's see, what is 4C? 4C is the one-handed quick draw. Oh, we did see this one the other day. Yeah. And I think it was on the one that we had here. It was, they both players did it. And was, I think it was Abram hit it, the last shot. Somebody did. It was somebody in, but uh, I also saw Jamie hit it on, I think, his first or second shot. And this would have been yeah yesterday day two discipline three. I remember seeing I remember seeing Brian practicing this. I don't remember if he yeah, hit it successfully during his practice. Yeah. All right, so shoot this a one-handed. Pocket the one, draw back, hit the rack, and pocket the nine. See, Gabby does it the right way. He's you know he plays off the one and into the nine like he's mm -hmm. playing a game of nine ball. That's the way you got to do it. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's watch from over here. He gets down real low. And, that, and nails it first try, mm -hmm. nine points. Yeah. I think getting down low is the way to do it. Yeah, that's the way Jamie was doing it too, getting down really low like that. And it almost looks like, I mean, it's one-handed, but you know, it being underneath it like that, it just seems like it'd be so much easier to control than the standing up. Yeah. And, and Brian does it standing up. Mm -hmm. And the cue stick is not allowed to rest on the rack. Yeah. It has to be in the air. Is it allowed to touch your shoulder? I believe so. I think you yeah. can rest it on your shoulder. Yeah, because, I mean, when you get down low like that, when I saw some of them practicing it yesterday, I don't remember who it was, it looked like the cue stick was almost touching their shoulder to, you know, help a little bit. But I could be no, wrong. No, nobody, nobody's been resting it on their shoulders, so maybe it's not allowed. You would think if it was allowed, they might, they might do that. But, all right, so you can see Brian has a totally different approach. He stands up full. He uses his chin, too, here. It's in there. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> One more weedy, and it's gone. <laughs> These guys are just having too much fun. Yeah, no, the the camaraderie between these players <laughs> is 
a really refreshing things thing to see. Well, you know, the world of trick shots and artistic pool, it's a pretty small world, so, you know, of course, everyone knows each other very well, and it's like just a big family. All right, attempt number two, now worth eight points. Come on, Brian, get on the scoreboard. Oh, man, mm, it didn't move at all. Yeah, I can't believe he hit the rack, but didn't make the ball. <laughs> just barely, just nestled, you know, kind of nuzzled up to that to that rack. He just needed one or two more weedies, and it was gone. Half a weedie. Oh, he's going to try the the Gabby approach. Maybe getting down, maybe there's something to this getting down low. Yeah. He's Are like, you proposing? <laughs> 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 These guys. There that's, it that's is. There, there it is. Yeah. He's got it. All, All right. right. Seven points on the scoreboard. No, that's that, that, that's that's what uh, Sean Lewis likes to call clutch. <laughs> when when you got to come with it, coming with it. He he says, "I am not going to get blanked." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're going to follow shots, and this will be Brian's choice. Four A. The window shot. Uh, oh, he hit okay. this one first try last night. Not to put any pressure on Brian, but and and there was a comment made in the. Uh, you guys will be in the recording from yesterday. He did hit it on his third try. Um, when he shot it in the prelims. Yeah, it seems like this this shot has kind of been his nemesis. He's determined to to make it. But he did make it finally. He made it for, well, he made it the third try on the in the round of the, in the, the prelims, and then the quarterfinals yesterday, he made it on the first try. Okay, during the prelims, I didn't think he made it. I no, think. he did. It was the third try okay. he made it. All right, I thought he'd missed it all three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he actually made comment about that last night as we were leaving, that he made it on his third try. Okay, all right. And he would know. He, he Yes, he would. <laughs> No, you didn't, Brian. You did not make it. So yeah, all three of those balls over there by the side pocket, all three of those will be pocketed. Cue ball arcs through that little gap and makes that hanging nine ball. It's a pretty shot when it works. Mm -hmm. Tough, tough shot, nine points. Yeah. And it looks really pretty too. It's like a rainbow, almost. That's in. Oh, oh man. Hits the gap and doesn't get through. Oh, made, made all three of the balls. Oh. Hit, hit, hit the gap. Almost makes the nine. Man, what an excellent attempt. Oh, that hurt me. <laughs> and I'm not even shooting. Let's hit it this time, Brian. You got this. Eight points. Tie it up, and to then Gabby will miss all three, and it'll be. It'll be a race. I mean, we want to see the essential of a hill hill here, don't we? Where they have to play all the shots. 
Absolutely. We want to, yeah, of course we want Hill Hill. We always want Hill Hill, don't we? Mm-hmm. Because that means everybody's per performing, pro you know, at top speed usually. There it is. Nailed it. Second try, eight points. Ties us up, 15 apiece. All right. Gabby says, okay, I think I got notes on this one. <laughs> <laughs> if not, hopefully he was taking notes while Brian was shooting it. Yeah. You guys like trick shot tournaments we'll be streaming another one in november from, from london from london ohio yep. yeah, and uh possibly the uh championships uh february of next year out of the league room hopefully the new league room i'm sure it will be the new one since there were I think they were getting ready to just start moving, I think, when we were there. Yeah. All right, Gabby's first attempt. And Rob says both guys hit this shot well. I imagine Gabby hits most shots well. I mean, there's a reason, you know, Mr. Perfect. But just, I mean, his score yesterday was is the highest score ever done on a nine-foot table. Yes, let 282 points, which was a new record. Yeah, let alone a diamond four and an eighth-inch pocket, you know. <laughs> yeah, these are four and eighth-inch diamonds. There it oh, is. Oh, he nails it nails first perfect. try. Well. Brian says, you suck. <laughs> All right, moving on to bank and kick shots. Gabby's trying to decide. 3C, bank and kick shots. That's going to be uh, the quick timer shot. Yeah. This yeah. looks interesting. It's worth it looks eight fun. points. It looks like, like me, uh, me trying to ride the nine. <laughs> so two, two chances at it. Send the one ball and the cue ball at it. <laughs> so we're we're banking the one cross side, and the cue ball is going to hit that two three to clear the pocket. So the one has has an open pocket to go into. It's going to make the two in the side and the three in the corner. Yep. Which, but here it's the five in the side and the seven in the corner. Banking the four ball at the five. Cue ball clears the five out, making it and the seven. And it says the one will go. It's a, uh, so the four is supposed to be the last ball pocketed here. Scratch is allowed. I think Abram was saying scratch is allowed on every shot. There's never a time when scratch there isn't it is allowed. Eight points, 32 for Gabby. All right. Brian needs this. So I'm going to be. Yeah, I'd like, and uh, like uh, Rodney Morris play, you know, wears vests and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think, it, you know, I, I know there's a lot of uh, apparel makers out there. Maybe they should get into doing vests for the players to put their sponsor patches on over so that they can look professional out there. Yeah, it. I like seeing them dressed up. I do, too.
Mm. Is the uh, things coming through wonky? Some Jim says reboot. Everything looks good on our end. It says, yeah, all the program says everything's going out okay. Nails it. First try. Yeah, eight there points. we go. There we go. 23 for Brian. Love the notes. <laughs> <laughs> Love the notes, he says. <laughs> yep. All right, so this is going to be Brian's choice now. Stroke shots. Yeah, so the vest is basically our equivalent of the NASCAR jump. Jumper, 4B, of their you know their their whole leather suit that they wear, but the vest would be you know. the show-off spin shot. Man, players were having a hard time with this one. During yeah, the they were. they were during the preliminaries. And I think was it Brian who shot this one? And he did follow and draw. This is not follow and draw, so no. Yeah, this is stroke shots. Yep. So yeah, Brian picked this. All right, so well, since he picked it, hopefully he knows how to shoot it. One would assume. And I hope you all uh, tuned in last night and got to hear Abram and get some insight on the shots and the, what they do. If you didn't, uh, that recording's up, but I uh, said so those matches will be a little better quality uh, when we get home. We'll be skipping. Another guy, Shorty. Welcome in. Hey, Shorty. Welcome. All right. All four of those balls will be going into that corner. Cue ball comes around, draws back three rails around to make the the five. I think that is. Yep. Does he have? Yeah, he's got the five there. That's uh, not going to get anywhere close to there. And then one of the balls didn't go in the corner. Not an easy shot. Now remember to adjust your rack, Brian. <laughs> you need to. He did that I'm sure yesterday. He, I'm sure he learned his lesson. Yeah. Would have hit that the second try if he had just readjusted his rack. This one does look really cool when it goes to. All right, attempt number two, now worth eight points. Yeah, so these are the kind of shots I just, I, I, I can't bring myself to do. You the can't pushing, bring to just push through. Like push through <laughs> it to draw like this. I just can't do it, even though it's a legal hit. Oh, this, this has, got a, has chance. got a good it's chance. It's got a chance. It's got a chance. I think that's perfect. Come on, come on. Oh. Spin. Oh, there it is. He got it. He got it. Beautiful. Attempt number Eight two. Points. Eight points for Brian Pauley. Putting the heat on Gabby. Gabby went to go wash his hands. He'll be right back. Yep, he said, go ahead and shoot. And here he comes. And, uh, you know, he heard the ruckus. He knows Brian made that shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he don't need to be told. He heard that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Gabby, He's for the first out. time today, getting his uh, tablet out for notes. It's getting serious now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bringing the heat. Speaking of heat, it's hot in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, it is. If you guys didn't know that, it, it gets hot in Oklahoma and muggy, too. Yeah, who knew it got so humid in Oklahoma? I didn't know that. Uh, we did not have a Steve here. 
There were a bunch of players that, for one reason or another, had to back out uh, of being able to come here within the last couple of weeks of the turn, you know, before the tournament. Yeah. Venom, Florian Kohler, he was signed up for the tournament, but he had to back out uh, along with... Jason Lynch. Jason Lynch. Here. Um, there was another guy... He was signed up but couldn't make it. Uh, another guy from um, out west that was supposed to come. Uh, I can't remember his name. I was asked to say hi to him, but he wasn't here, so. He's got an extra ball there in that line. No, there's only supposed to be. I mean, he's, got, he's got the six oh. ball behind the cue ball there for, oh, that uh, ball popped out. The, did the five pop out? Yeah. So he's just going to do it manually. Forget using the cue stick. One at a time, straight line. Yeah, take the tablet off the table. Yeah. You yeah. don't get extra points for shooting around it. What? Venom Florian would have a chick sitting on the table. <laughs> yeah. And they go in around her and through her legs and back down and <laughs> All right. Attempt number one for nine points. I think that's who I w uh, was to uh, Mark Dimmick. No, no Mark Dimmick here. He's a local guy, right? Mark Dimmick, Rob. Maybe that's what it was. He did not make that ball into the all four of them in the corner, and cue ball came out a little bit high there. So the players that did make it to the tournament. You can see right here on the bracket. We were playing the first semifinal match, and then we'll have that second semifinal, Jamie versus Abram. That'll be at about 3 o'clock, I believe, mm -hmm. is the scheduled start time. Poke yourself in the eye with the end of that cue stick there. Having problems getting these balls lined up the way he wants. They're not cooperating. May have to uh, try shooting this from the other end of the table if he can't get it to cooperate at this end. Like he's happy with it. Attempt number two, worth eight points. Oh, wow. 
He put a stroke on that ball, didn't he? he? Missed it. Look at that. Now look where we are. Man. Brian Pauly. That was that shot two? That was number two. Oh, okay. He still it just got a took chance. a while to get him the, to set him up that it felt like it should have been three. <laughs> well, I mean, it shows you right there how perfect they have to be. You know, if Mr. Perfect doesn't get it, then the balls must not have been lined perfect. It's, uh, yeah, it's obviously the ball's fault. Yes. <laughs> Says Mark is good at those wing shots. Yeah, those wing shots are are fun to watch. It's like how many in a row can you make? His third and final attempt. So we got a ball game. Brian's within one point. Well, look out. Things just got interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So you're saying there's a chance. And it's going to be Gabby's choice now in jump shots. Not a bad spot to be from going that I'm not gonna get uh, I'm not gonna get skunked to one point behind going into shot number seven of eight. All right, this is a ten pointer, the jump in and out shot. And of course he's using his metal rack with uh no, that's that's not the, is that his metal rack with his mr perfect on it that doesn't yes it is i can see the indents in the side of it all right you know those metal racks they look nice but man they are loud when something hits them or even just racking the balls those, mm -hmm. those aluminum racks are loud but especially loud when you're shooting them with trick shots they should just use the accu rack like balint says Oh, here we go. Attempt number one for 10 points. Both of these balls down in the corners will be pocketed. Very nice. Nails it. Clean. 10 points. That was squeaky. Very nice shot. Beautiful. Made it look easy. Yeah. All right. Brian's got to nail this one and then... Uh, He's going to do it the opposite direction, of course. Yeah, so we can watch from this angle. Nice thing about this shot, it doesn't take a, doesn't take a lot of setup time. Hey, Sean Stewart. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, oh, hey, welcome. Sean. Longtime viewer from down in, down in Georgia. Oh. Oh, man. So close, so close.
All right, attempt number two for nine points. Get it, Brian. Come on, Brian. <clears throat> oh, oh hop too much. All right, one last, one last attempt. It's like the hopping there of the cue ball kind of straightened it out and went in the end rail. Yep, bringing you some new and exciting stuff there, Sean. We were very happy to be asked to come do this, and and now being here, um, really glad that we were, because this is, it is, it's a lot of fun to watch these live like this, and get to talk about them, and, oh, no oh, good. Oh, no, no points. Uh, so, do we, um. So, now we're going on to Discipline 8, which is going to be Mass Say Shots, and this is going to be. Uh, Brian's choice. He says, I think I wasted it in practice. I guess he must have practiced <laughs> this one and made it. So 3C and Massey shots is the big guy, Massey. Is that, is that uh, Mike Massey, Massey? Maybe. I'm the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call him Tennessee Tarzan for nothing. Worth eight points. Yeah, he needs to hit this. Is this enough to take over if um, and win if Gabby doesn't hit it? The eight points? Uh, no, the score is 42 to 31, so he's trailing by 11 points. And there's still four more rounds after these eight disciplines because then they get to choose from, yeah. any, from any discipline. So I forgot about that part, yeah. Nope. That's not it. All right, attempt number two. And the cue ball must be frozen to that cushion. That Massé cue that Brian's using made by... Too Tall. Too Tall, Abram Diaz. He's sponsored by Too Tall cues. As is Gabby, they both mm -hmm. are. This looks so oh. uh, not. Uh, it looked like it was spinning properly, you know, arcing properly, but it actually arced too much. Okay. One more attempt. Third and final attempt. Now worth six points. Hit the uh, hit yeah, an extra hit, rail. Hit the rail, not allowed. Yep. No points for Brian. Oh, I thought I was thinking, is Gabby going to leave it just set up and just set up there and shoot it? Nope, he's going to no. try the other end. He's, that other end apparently is defective, so we're going to go this way. Yep.
Uh, Sean, we are coming to you live from Jamaica Joe's in Midwest City, Oklahoma. And the rules, well, it's basically like a, kind of like a game of horse now. One person picks a shot and then the other person has to, you know, one person picks a shot and shoots it and then the other person has to try to do the same. started out with prelims where they were just going after points to get placement into the uh, quarterfinals and no, the that's semis. An, that's an entirely different approach than than Brian took to making this shot. Uh -huh. And Gabby is shooting more like, that's more like how I imagined Brian would have shot it. And my understanding is that does not count as an attempt when you just mm. accidentally hit the ball like that. Yeah, he wasn't actually stroking through it, just barely touched it. And for scoring, Sean, so different shots are worth different points depending on their difficulty. They could be anywhere from six to 10 points and you get three attempts. If you make it on your first attempt, you get the full value. If you make it on your second attempt, you get the full value minus one point. And your third attempt, full value minus two points. And if you don't make it on your third attempt, you get no points. So this has got a chance. Nope. No points for either player on that. All right, now we move into the rounds where they get to choose any shot they want from the book. We're not limited to any particular discipline now. They cannot pick the same shot twice. They cannot pick the same shot twice. And I don't think they can pick the same discipline but twice. Yeah, it has to be different disciplines too, I think. Pass A, 4A. The jump mass say, okay, we were definitely watching him do this during, yeah. during practice, and he was nailing it. So, oh, well, and they, he shot it yesterday. And he shot it yesterday. It's a pretty, it's a pretty shot, though. Yeah, it is. He jumped this ball out of the rack, and it with lots of backspin, and it comes back and pockets that ball. Watch from over here. A nice close up view. There it is. Nailed it first try, nine points. 51 for Gabby. Yeah, and you will notice Brian is using a little step stool that is allowed in artistic pool. He described he describes it as uh, you still have to keep one foot on the floor, but you're allowed to raise the floor. <laughs> 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 Bullen says, yeah, this is one of those times we'd be tougher with the Acurac. Yep. Yep. <laughs> one of those times. <laughs> All right, attempt number one for nine points. Mm, no good.
second attempt. Sean, thank you very much, buddy. That is very generous of you. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Oh, I thought I was going to oh. catch and go zing and zing, zing. back. Thank you, Sean. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, so they're, uh, the guys are apparently happy with us, uh, the players out there that are watching and even family members. And so I said um, they want us to be doing their tournaments from now on. Yeah, we were worried that because we had never done a trick shot tournament before. We were worried that, you know, we don't know what we're doing, but they're very happy with what we're doing and, and they have invited us back. Yeah. So we do know success. pool, though, you know, <laughs> and and we know live streaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. I think you said good choice, Cabby, because everyone knows I can't shoot this shot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, you know, it's another thing, knowing your player, right? Absolutely. In the shot, you know, in a format like this where you get to pick the shot, yeah, knowing your opponent's strengths and weaknesses, yeah. that's absolutely part of the strategy. But even when you're playing somebody regular pool, you know, uh, if am I going to go for the bank here? Or, you know, or am I going to leave you a bank or am I going to go and leave you the jump shot because I know you're not good at banks or, you know, or you don't jump the ball well or whatever. It, it really helps to know your opponent in really any game you're playing, but especially something like this. Especially something like this. Yeah. Discipline one, shot two B. Discipline one is the uh, trick and fancy. Trick and fancy. Two B is... Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong discipline. Yeah, discipline one. All right, the big X shot. Okay, we saw them practicing this during warm-ups. Actually, it was Gabby that we saw practicing this. Brian may have been practicing it too. I just didn't notice. So thanks to Sean, we can we can actually go buy some of the good coffee now. We don't have to drink. I, I already did that this morning. <laughs> we don't have to drink the the free stuff that's available <laughs> here. We can get the good stuff. Thank you, Sean. Big X shot worth seven points. Attempt number one. Oops, I wanted to stay with this angle. But without the graphics. Oh, without the graphics. There. Oh, oh so I thought close. it made that ball on the side. I thought oh, it had over there. Oh, oh, so close. Okay. You got it this time, Brian. Just a little bit off there. And you can tell he's changed how he's put that nine in the pocket there. He's yep. putting it where it, where it went. <laughs> Should it exactly the same? Move the put nine ball to where the, the ball exactly. went. Exactly. Yep. Second attempt, now worth six points. There it is. No. Oh, no. Chair was blocking that ball in the corner, and I thought it had to have gone. Uh, Rob, these are nine-foot diamond tables with four and one-eighth inch pockets. Yeah, little tiny... So four and one eighth inch diamond pockets. Maybe everybody heard that, then that's why they all were like, oh no, I ain't going to that one. <laughs> and this is not new cloth, this is old cloth, which makes it 
which makes those pockets even tougher. It'll be new cloth when they're gone, after they leave, when they replace the cloth. Thanks to Simona's Cloth for the for donating five five beds of cloth. And speaking of five, this is the fifth year that Jamaica Joe's has had this tournament here. Yep, they're like, please come back so we can you know so we can recover our tables. Yes. <laughs> There, there we, we go. go. Nice. Five points. Third time's a charm. Third time is the charm in this case. Well, it seems to be, th you know, this is what the second time he's done this when he had to come with it. Mm hmm All right. And, of course, Gabby will be attempting the same shot because he has to. Because he has to, yep. <laughs> And I am willing to bet one of Gabby's shots. Uh, wait, no, did he, he already did that in the, um, did he do the jump to six pack yet? No, he did, I, not, I, do, I, did not do the six pack I would be willing yet. to bet that the next shot is the six pack. There's, that, that's a 10 pointer and he's very good at it. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would say that's probably an excellent prediction. Yeah. Because I, I don't know that anybody else hit that shot. When, and they were all the doing pack? it, yeah. yeah ever, I saw you know, the other matches because we had you got you had you had Abe in here with you yesterday, so I was watching him practice it and mm -hmm. shooting it. And Gabby was the only one that hit it. And makes it look easy when yeah. he does. Yeah. Is it bad that we're starting to know the names of the shots now? <laughs> No. no, you spend three days at a trick shot tournament. You you pick up a thing or two. All right, Gabby with his first attempt at this for seven points. Mm -hmm. and Gabby was actually having problems with this during practice. Let's see if he's adjusted. He's having problems making that one in the corner. Well, he, he figured out how to make the one in the corner. Uh, George, that is a uh, decimal point and not a comma. In Europe and other places, they use a comma instead oh, of a okay. decimal point as the separator. Uh, you know, that's something I haven't asked on what they make. I actually don't know what the payouts are. We'll, we'll get that information before yeah. the next match. Well, Brian will actually be sitting in after this match because win or lose, mm -hmm. we're only doing, you know, we're doing the two, um, the two quarter or semifinals here and then we'll do the finals. So Brian will be done and we'll be coming in and sitting in and he can fill us in with that information. Okay. All right, Gabby not having, not having a good time with this shot. Yeah, maybe Brian knows that. Well, he was practicing well, it Brian. too, you said. Brian was watching Gabby practice it. I'm sure that factored into it. Mm -hmm. I do know that they get trophies. Uh, they get uh, medals for all of the eight. There's eight medals up for grabs for all of the eight disciplines. I don't know what they pay to play in this. That's something we didn't ask. All right, Gabby's third and final attempt at this. Now worth five points. Yeah, we know Belint is rooting for Gabby since they're both from the same country. Oh. No nope. points. No points. So uh, good choice by Brian there, good strategic choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think you're going to see Gabby come with that strategic choice here. Yeah. <laughs> so you're thinking six pack. I'm thinking six packs on its way. Let's see what he. Stroke 3C. Stroke 3C. That is not that, it. I don't think that's it. That's not it.
to be discipline seven or eight. Three C is the Kofex curveball. Okay. I think somebody shot this one yes uh yesterday. I think I remember seeing this one. I'm just trying to wrap my head around uh, what's the object here. Pocketing um, the, the ball in the corner. Okay. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Just pocket that hanging ball over there. Yeah. Well, you've got an impeding ball that is uh, three balls off of the rail. You've got to bank the one out and have the cue ball arc. See, Gabby does it the right way. He, he, he shoots into the one ball to make the hanging nine ball. Mm -hmm. Well, and... That right there is probably somebody who does exhibitions and things like that mm -hmm. over somebody who is just a trick shot shoot, you know, an artistic pool player, maybe. Because that's what the people like to see is, you know, things like this. Like, yeah, you know, you got this shot, you know, when you're, oh, he, he must have kicked the camera. <laughs> Um, when you're actually talking to the crowd and explaining to them the situation, you would tell them, you know, riding the nine here for the win or mm -hmm. you know, whatever. So maybe it's just the difference in people who do more exhibitions. Good point. That's there it in. is. That's perfect. Nailed it. Eight points. First try. All right. Brian needs this. Yeah, he cannot afford to go pointless. Hey, Jim says it's a $350 entry. That's significant. Yep. Yep, see, this being our first time, you know, there was some information we neglected to get, and that will not happen again. Rob says, booyah. Mm-hmm. Brian's going to use the same balls, so one, the three, and the nine. Yeah, well, we had this conversation with him mm -hmm. after he was, you know, setting up the uh, losing shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You got to make it nine balls so that you're winning doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sean says he's going to use that shot next time he's hooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pick up a thing or two. Yeah, no, there's some like uh, that... Uh, what is it, the nine or ten pointer where your um, the two balls are frozen together and you make the one, you know, the one is actually below the side pocket, but you make it go into the side pocket? Mm -hmm. You mean the uh, the compression shot the where compre you compress the rail? Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Is that what it was? The balls are out in the middle of the table. Oh, oh, uh, that shot. That's the, They call that just the throw shot, I believe. Yeah. But, you know, just that one there, you know, is something that comes up and you don't think about it, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm learning a thing or two I can apply to my regular pool game. Mm -hmm. Especially ride nine. Especially <laughs> in new ways. I'm learning new ways to ride the nine. Get so that you know, cheese, so baby. You know, you know I'm paying attention. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not to leave out the hotel, airfare, food. Oh, yeah. It's very expensive to come and play one of these. No doubt. Which is why they have sponsors. And there is some money added in this tournament, too. Well, you think if you fly, you got to pay. That's an odd size case for those big old cases that they carry. you got to pay extra for those, too. I, I'm not sure about that. I think that's regular luggage size. I'll, it's length plus width plus height. Can't exceed a certain number, and it, it definitely fits within within those requirements. I mean, you can't you can't carry it on, but I think you can check it with for no extra fee. Yeah, well, you got to have some kind of case that goes over the case because you're not just going to check that like that. You got to have something that goes over it. I wouldn't be wanting to check that. People go, oh look, there's thousands of dollars right there. <laughs> if you know anything about them. Yeah, just a thin little like <laughs> canvas slip cover that goes over it, or something like a duffel bag type thing. Yeah. Or maybe just check it as is. Yeah, I wouldn't. Little, well, you put, know, a little put a little TSA lock on the zipper? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. And uh, 
I've been told that they just break those locks open, that they don't even you know, use the ones that, they're oh, so, that they have the keys for, that they just break them open anyhow. Those TSA locks are worthless, and yeah, half the time, the TSA people, they don't even use the key. They just cut the lock off, even though it's a TSA lock. They just cut it off half the time. Sometimes even damaging your luggage in the process. Yeah, well, I'm worried about them damaging my case, too. That's why I want something covering the outside of it. <laughs> but then again, I have a Volturi. All right, All right Brian's Brian. third and final attempt. Now worth six points. No. Oh, no points. Oh, no. Yeah. He says, I have zero notes in that shot. I was just watching what you were doing. <laughs> All right. So is this the fourth and final shot? Um, good point. I'm not sure. No, the third. This would be the third. Okay. Follow 5B. Follow 5B. It's going to be... It's discipline four, I think. Right, you are. Five B is the follow bender. All right, I did see him practicing this one. Mm -hmm. And see, Rob said he had a cover case for his, so not to damage the case that, mm -hmm. you know, his actual case. And I'm the same way. I've got a beautiful Volturi case, and I put mine in a bat in a bat bag to travel with as to not damage my pull case. Plus, it has a snap shut lid and not a zipper. Lots and lots of high on this ball. Out in no man's land. Oh, it was just a teeny bit, maybe too deep into the pocket there. See, now, you got to put the one ball hanging in the pocket to, and to, so you can ride the nine. Well, it doesn't matter what it is if you're riding the nine. But you're hitting the wrong ball first if you're playing nine ball. You got to hit the lowest numbered ball. All right, attempt number two now worth. This was a, this was a ten pointer, so now, now so we're down to nine, nine points. <clears throat> Yeah, she's Sean. That's what I want to do. I want to get a motor home and travel across the country streaming tournaments. So you don't have to worry about flying anything. A hotel, that's there. That is there. Nice, nice shot, nine, Brian. Nine points. You get to see the country, to pick where you want to be at all the different times of year. Get to you know watch stuff like this. All right, Gabby, going to go from the other side of the table. Yeah, I'll be able to watch it from this other angle. Hard to drive from the Philippines, Jim says. <laughs> well, you know, if you get one of those car boats. And those amphibious boats? Mm -hmm. Amphibious cars, I mean. They're whatever they are. Yeah. One of them amphibians. Not sure how safe I would feel taking one of those out on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Rob says in 2010 is during his first masters we had three blocking balls now we're down to just two well, I guess three was too difficult <clears throat> apparently no 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 uh, Valent you don't put the pool table in the motorhome you put that in the toy hauler behind the motorhome <laughs> And who says you can't fit a pool table in a motorhome? Have you seen the size of some motorhomes nowadays? Yeah, have you seen the size of those three hundred thousand dollar motorhomes? The bullets in Europe, so every you know, so they don't have a lot of they don't have those big things in Europe. But in America, we have some big arse uh, motorhomes. <laughs> All right. Extreme force follow. 
That's too much. Too much, too much extreme. Yeah, he hit some, see, he just hits them too good. This, I mean, the stroke that it takes to hit this is sickening. He's getting too much follow on it. Yep. Or hitting that, uh, maybe <clears> hitting <throat> that ball too full. Hit a little bit thinner and the cue ball comes out more. <laughs> An automatic, automatic pull out, pull table on the side of the RV. Now we're talking. <clears throat> I saw one um, recently. I'm with you, Sean that had a deck, instead of the side folding out, it had a deck that folded down, and I thought that was awesome. So it's a Murphy table. Instead of a Murphy bed. <laughs> <laughs> Third and final attempt. All right. That's not there. Oh, Just a teeny man. bit short. And Brian Pauly has stumped Gabby twice. Wow. So good Good strategic choices by Brian here. Mm -hmm. No, it is Gabby's choice, this last and final. I think there might be more than, than the, the four I got. It might be a little fuzzy on those details. Is he going to go with the six pack? Follow 5C is not. It's just one shot up here, so follow the kiss. <laughs> He's saving the six pack for his for his for the grand final. Mm. For the showstopper. <laughs> Just looking at this diagram, this looks like a cool shot. <clears throat> this this one takes a stroke. Yeah. More so than that previous one, I'm thinking. At least it sure looks like it. Boy, this cue ball is going to bend around that three ball out there. Um, Neato. Pool hustlers, how do you get in on this? Uh, well, um, this is the World Pool Association's Artistic Pool Division, correct? Yes. Brian Pauly is the head of that, so I would go find Brian Pauly oh, on the, Facebook. Oh, look at this. There it, it is. Perfect. There it is. Nope. Oh, man. That was such a great attempt. Yep, but... Uh, Brian Polly is the uh, president and chairhead for the uh, artistic pool division of the WPA. So I'd, I'd get a hold of him. Yeah. He is on Facebook. Yes, sir, he is. Right, somewhere, somewhere in between those two. Mm -hmm. He missed it left. He missed it right. So he's just he's getting dialed in now. Third time will be the charm. And yes, here the object is to hit the five ball, pocketing the nine ball. I think they're asking, can you hit the nine without hitting the five? Oh. Is that is that allowed? Uh, well, what does that diagram say? Well, let's have a look. The blocking ball may not be contacted by any means until after the ball is pocketed. Yeah, that's that ball that's out in, out in the middle of nowhere. Yep. So, no, he may not hit that ball until after No, he's we're talking about huh? the five ball that's over by the nine, huh? not, the, not the blocking ball. No good. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what Brian's Time got. Time for Brian to make up some points here. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're allowed to put the like they're allowed to put that cue ball just about anywhere they want to over there. But you will see the players measure out at a very exact distance by using balls as spacers. And that's all about consistency. So they'll Gabby just pointed out, but the cue ball does have to be the other side of the three, so it has to be mm -hmm. at least one diamond up the table. <clears throat> yeah, it very clearly says in the diagram, cannot be the other side of the... Yep, see that little black line there? Cue ball's going to be on the other side of that. That was a good attempt. <laughs> the so-called X line, X for exciting. <laughs> but yeah, players will measure out very exact distances so that it's the same every time. So, you know, part of that scientific method is you only change one variable at a time. And if you're always just putting that cue ball in a random spot every time, you have no chance at consistency. Brian, we need some points. Oh, no. All right, well, this will be his third and final attempt. points for both players. <laughs> Pool Luster says, oh, what a hard shot. I want to try it now. Yeah, this type of shot definitely would be easier on new cloth. Let that cue ball slide a little bit more, for sure. All right, now this is going to be Brian's choice. He's flipping through his book, trying to decide what do I pick, what do I pick. All right, Discipline 2, 5C. That is going to be the 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3 shot. Worth 10 points. This one is just, you lag the three balls down the table, it's all about speed.
You hit the balls in reverse numerical order, but they have to go into the pockets in numerical order. You hit the three first, but it has to go in last. Looks simple. Deceptively simple. This is a 10-point shot. He's actually doing it in uh, the reverse numerical order. Oh, hit that one just a little too firm. All right, now he's going to do the balls in the right order this time. Well, see, that's why he did it. He didn't make it the first time because he was doing it backwards. He was all, he the was shot all is called three, two, one, one, two, three. He was all confused. That's what it was. Got the balls all discombobulated. Is that, is that one too hard? No. Nope. Perfect. He's got it. Perfect. Nice. Nine points. <clears throat> Gabby's gone pointless for couple of rounds. No, he says, can you move your case? Uh, Gabby, I was watching him a couple of days ago practice his shot. He, I don't remember. I think he hit it in his match, too, and he hits this one <clears throat> pretty well. Yeah, I look for Gabby to not have too much problem with this shot. All right, the finals is scheduled for 6 o'clock Central Time. That's 7 o'clock Eastern. Boom! There it is. Just barely yeah. got past it. Ten points. That two ball just barely got there. So they were just talking about the math of this. So the we he only have, needs to do a six pointer, Gabby, and make it the yeah. first try. So there are so do a seven pointer just in case. Mm -hmm. There are jump shots one. All right, jump shot one C. So as I was saying, uh, Brian, there's only two more rounds. The most he could get is 74. So Gabby only has to hit a six-pointer to win this. This is 1C, the one-handed jump shot yeah, worth six points. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, like you're saying, you go for seven pointers that way. If you hit it on your second or third try, you still get yeah. the points. Yep. There it is. And that's it. That uh, mm -hmm. does defeat and Brian Polly. Defeat and eliminate Brian Polly. Gabby will be moving on into the finals. We're going to have another, the other. We're going to have the other semifinal match coming up in one hour from now, 3.30 Central Time, 4.30 Eastern. We'll be back in one hour. Thank you guys for watching. We are Kevin and Sherry Ross with Railbirds. See you guys in an hour. All right, bye. See you guys. Thanks for watching.